Good evening. Welcome to another edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show right here on YouTube. My name is Leon Jones, and this evening, i got another news story to show you. Shout out to Teapot, these old mamas. But this time, it wasn't an old mama involved. It was two kids. But who is raising some of these kids? These old mamas. Again, shout out to Teapot. Now, what you're going to witness here is well, what you're going to hear is an 11 year old sexually assaulting a six year old boy on the back of the bus. Yeah, I said it. An 11 year old sexually assaults a six year old. And guess what? The six year old wasn't a girl, it was another boy. So, are these boys going down that road? Let me share my screen and let you all check out the article for yourself. Again, this is from KHOU TV in Houston, ABC 13. 11 year old Aldine ISD student charged with three felony counts after six year olds. R-A-P-E revealed. Of course, the victim's mother came forward with allegations about months of abuse. Now, again, the word allegation has been used. So, with further ado, we don't know how long it's actually taken place. However, we know that something has been taking place. But you also have when it comes to the time alleged about the months. So let's break into the article. Harris County, Texas, courtesy of KTRK TV, an 11 year old who's believed to have reportedly RAPED and all the ISD student five years younger than him is now facing felony charges. On Wednesday, ABC 13 learned that Harris County District Attorney's Office accepted three counts of aggravated sexual assault against uh, a child who was 11 years old. Now, of course, due to the fact that the child is a minor, the identity of the child, any age, has been withheld. However, Charges were accepted once an investigation into the alleged acts on an Aldine ISD school bus was completed with Aldine ISD police working closely with the chief of district attorney's juvenile division on the day the allegations came to light. More than a week ago, Latoya Stormy Monroe, the six-year-old victim's mother, went public with what she says she saw in footage captured on board her son's school bus. Monroe said an older boy sexually assaulted her son for the past several months as he rode the bus to school. Again, now the mother said her son was sexually assaulted for months. But when I brought the article to light, said alleged. So who's right? We don't know. But a question that I have to ask is, where's the 11 year old boy's mother? Let's say this sexual assault has taken place over months. My question is, you have more than those two students who ride the bus. Well, what were those other students doing? They had to have been watching something. Now, of course, most of them are watching their phones and Instagram, but no. I know of something had taken place back of a school bus. Most of us would know about it. And we would have done something about it. So that's a question that has to be asked. 
Okay. Now the mother claims that her son was sexually assaulted for months. Okay, let's look at that for a moment. Another question. Was a police report? Should the mom of the 11-year-old boy be charged with child neglect? Because you have to look at the situation. Was the mom molested herself? Now, I've done many videos on psychology. Did a couple on child molestation. Because an 11-year-old boy had learned this behavior somewhere. Does this mother have a daughter? The 11 year old mother have a daughter. And you know, with some of these mothers, particularly the single mothers from the city, they have a revolving door of men coming in and out of the door. Did the mother witness, let's say this 11 year old mother had a daughter did the boyfriend do something to the daughter now of course i'm just putting questions out there because this is what i'm here to do to make you think but with that information uncovered the mother says the sexual assault of her six-year-old has been taking place for months but meanwhile, when I broke into the article, it meant that ledge. So who's telling the truth? Again, Latoya Stormy Monroe, who's the 11 year old's mother, said an older boy assaulted her son for the past several months as he rode the bus to school. Now, another question to answer. Or to be asked first. Why didn't the son report this information to the mom? His mom. You have to fill in the blanks. That's why when I do a news story, do I take everything that's put in front of me with cherries on top? Absolutely no. I have to throw questions out there. Because those questions hadn't been answered. Let's move on. However, Monroe said she did not know about any sort of incident until the week before last, when her son's backpack went missing. She told Eyewitness News she called school transportation officials to ask them to review the security footage on board to see if they could tell what happened to the backpack. Monroe said the assaults were captured on video, and that's when she got a call from school. In the statement, the school district acknowledged the allegations and expressed that an investigation began on February 1st, 2023. CPS similarly, similarly followed a suit as well. The district attorney or the DA's office added that the victim has been offered ongoing therapy through Children's Assessment Center. Now, again, I, I, I have to look at this. So the mother said the sexual, out, the sexual assaults have been taking place for months, but she claims that Two weeks ago, she had the footage. Now, I have to ask about the footage. And the footage was only recovered because of the backpack missing. But let's go back to the footage here. How many days or weeks does this footage go back? Now, let's continue something too. Let's 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 go into a little video to try to really hash this out. Like I said, I can't give you the information 
any more than what I'm given by the news stories. Okay. Now the mother is going to claim she has no words. She's angry. Of course, we're all going to be angry if something happened with our children. Any responsible parent would be angry. Now, my belief is the 11-year-old boy is also troubled. The 11-year-old boy also needs some therapy. What kind of home life did the 11-year-old boy come from? You see, when it comes to kids, they imitate what they see their parents do. Remember the old days, kids should be, should be seen but not heard? Well, today you have a lot of kids acting out, and a lot of parents are allowing kids in their affairs, including when grown-ups are dating. The kids are involved. But let me go ahead, just bear with me. Let me try to pull up a a video, try to pull up a video that uh, that I can show you about the mother. Just bear with me because this is a serious story. This is definitely a serious story. And I want everybody to understand that when it comes to children, it's nothing to play with. It's nothing to play with when we deal with children. Our children are defenseless. They don't know any better. And again, a lot of the behavior that, that we see these children, it's all learned behavior. It is. Children imitate what they see. Now, is it the 11-year-old boy's fault? Does he know right from wrong? Well, I'm sure the child does know right from wrong. Absolutely. But it's the parents' responsibility to take care of their children. Now, again, um, individuals don't understand what's going on out here in the real world. And, of course, parents, they don't watch what their children do. You know why? Because a number of these parents are out here, they're doing the same thing that their children are doing. They're on Instagram, they're on Facebook, Snapchat, they're on social media, and a lot of the parents are young themselves. Now, you even have some older parents who are my age. They're thinking about themselves. But what I'm going to show you is a news clip, and this reporter is going to give you her point of view of what she believed happened. Fair use, fair use. The Houston mother is demanding answers tonight after she says her six-year-old son was repeatedly sexually assaulted while riding the school bus. An investigation is underway right now in Aldine ISD. ABC 13's Maya Shea joins us live with these serious allegations, Maya. Yeah, these allegations are so disturbing and the mother says she believes it's gone on for several months, but it wasn't until her son lost his backpack last week and she called here at the transportation department to get to the bottom of this missing backpack that everything came out into the open. Latoya Stormy Monroe is devastated. She says she had no idea that her six-year-old son was being sexually assaulted on the school bus. I feel like as a parent, I failed my child. It hurts. I didn't protect him. I, I don't know what to do. Monroe was joined by community activists today in front of the Aldine bus bar to discuss what they believe happened, that over the past several months, an older child would repeatedly molest and sexually assault Monroe's son on the bus, and that the bus driver didn't notice. According to the investigator, the bus driver stopped the bus because she thought they were fighting on the back of the Fair bus, you. but this mother's child was fighting because he was being raped. Monroe says everything came to light last Tuesday when efforts to track down her son's missing backpack led school officials to look at surveillance video on the bus. 
Then she got a call. I get to the school and I find out that my son was sexually assaulted. Days of, of questioning, days of talking to my child, the details became more and more graphic each and every time. Since then, her son has been treated at the hospital and they've spoken to investigators. In a statement, the district says in part, an investigation by Aldean ISD police and district officials immediately began on Wednesday, February 1st. CPS was notified. Once the investigation has concluded, appropriate action will be taken based on investigation findings. Meanwhile, Monroe says her son doesn't even fully understand what happened. He's not really at his age understanding the magnitude. He actually really stated that, um, why couldn't this kid be given a second chance? If God gives second chances, why couldn't the perpetrator? Monroe says she hopes her speaking out today will get her answers and justice for her son. Houston mother. Well, yeah, let me ask you another question. Okay. You saw this big buffoon up there, this community activist. Have to ask another question. Was the eleven year old an African American? You have all these community activists out there, the people, you know, thank goodness Ben Crump isn't out there. But this has to be asked. And the mother did admit that she did not protect her child. I'll give her that. But let's think about this. The child goes to school every day comes back every day. Did the child, the six-year-old, make any attempt to talk to his mother? That's another question that hasn't been answered. Also, the bus driver. Generally, generally if something happens on a bus, generally, The school's also notified. So what I'm seeing is the sexual assault took place, but there's still a lot of holes. It's like Swiss cheese. The bottom line is what type of environment was the 11 year old boy raised in and the six year old boy raised in? What kind of school district? Now, of course, it's in the city of Houston. I mean, Houston is the fourth largest city in the United States behind New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. Those cities have problems themselves. Now, let's think about this for a minute. And I want to say this. We as black people, we claim that sexual assaults are white people's crimes. But incest, child molestation, and other crimes that are Violent, they take place in our community as well, in our race. We're no different than anybody else. I will say this. We have too many individuals out here who are having children, and they're not ready to be mothers. They're not ready to be fathers. The question that I have to bring up again is, is there a police report? I mean, I went through the article. Is the mother, the 11 year old boy, I mean, they're charging the 11 year old boy with a felony. You know, when you get a felony, so that means 
if he's going to be charged with a felony from something alleged. So that means they're going to have to bring lawyers in to prove that the 11 year old boy is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. So as a real investigation began, sometimes the media put something out there and they're not forthright with their information either. But I will say this. As a human being, what has happened to our children? I mean, children only mimic what they see adults do. Did this 11-year-old boy watch something on TV? Did this 11-year-old boy watch pornography? Did this 11-year-old boy see something on social media? You know, one thing about social media today, social media puts a lot of dysfunction out there. And it's not just black dysfunction. I've seen dysfunction all across the board. So I'm not even putting race in, in this social media environment. When the internet came out, it was supposed to be a place to get information, but it's gone overboard. You have a number of children out there who don't have social skills. A number of parents don't have social skills. They're watching too much television. They're on Facebook, Twitter. They're on these other platforms like Instagram. Some of them are watching Pornhub. But children are only children. They don't know any better. Now, there was an incident in Detroit a while back when the mother killed her own son and daughter for sexually assaulting their kid, well, her kid. For their brother. It's from Detroit, Michigan. And in that story, the mother who killed her children, the daughter and the son, she kept those kids in a freezer for a year. Now the mother killed her kids in Baltimore County, my home state of Maryland. I'm saying this because kids aren't being taught. They're not being taught in school. Teachers are babysitters. But they love teaching them about the rainbow, all of the rainbow. You know what I mean? The alphabet community. Now, I don't blame everybody in the rainbow community either. But you know, they have their fair share of molestations and pedo going on as well. It's not necessarily reported, but some of them who became part of the rainbow, I guarantee you they were sexually assaulted by somebody. But again, this is not about the rainbow. This is about an 11-year-old and a 6-year-old. And the questions must be asked on an investigation. Because when I see the word alleged in there, before it's concrete and stone, let's get more of the facts out there. But in the end, what we have here is a failure to communicate. And that communication comes from parents to children. Parents must understand that they are the parent 
a child is a child. They're not on the same level. And a lot of this is in the house of the moms where they let their children in all of their business. And some of their children see men coming in and out of their houses. They hear their moms and a boyfriend, number of boyfriends having sex anywhere and everywhere. And they don't care about their children. Now, again, should this 11-year-old boy be charged? That's if they find some evidence. Because right now, I hear a book bag was missing. Okay, let's look at that again. The video. How come it took so long to get the video footage out? That's the big question. And how old is the video footage? That, right now, I don't know. I wasn't there. So all we know is this. We have two children. One a victim. And one a perpetrator. And in the end, what would you do if you were the parents of either child? How should the system see this case? You be the judge. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show right here on YouTube. If you like what I just presented, please comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are looking for some STEM content, you check out my second channel, the QCIS channel. On that channel, I'll give you a daily dose of science, technology, engineering, and math, and some of the topics that I put on that channel, some of my school reports. Um, if you want to be a construction inspector, I show you how to do it. I talk about industrial engineering and mathematics. Now, if you cannot find the QCIS channel or the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show channel on YouTube, move on over to Twitter. That's where both of those channels are as well. Now, because the QCIS channel is an educational channel, I also have a LinkedIn page that you can go and find all of my. QCIS channel videos. In the end, be blessed for what you have. Don't worry about what you don't have. Always know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. And if it doesn't apply, let it fly. But if the shoe fits, wear it. If you don't like the shoe, change it. And once again, thank you for listening to this edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show right here on YouTube. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. I want you all to have a wonderful and gracious evening. God bless you. I'm out.